Hi all, and thanks for watching. In this video, I'm just going to go over changing your preset file with the reshade and suite effects, or the E and B with suite effects if you happen to be using one of my setups, but you want to actually try out some different presets with the setup that I have. And I'm going to actually just go through here. Now, in Left 4 Dead here, I'm using my e &B with Sweet Effects. Now this uses a preset file. So in order to actually get a different preset, if you want to try it out, you would go to the Sweet Effects folder and the Presets folder here, and you'll find the preset file is right here. Now what you would want to do is go to the Sweet Effects site here, the Settings database, and you would look for other presets so we'll just say left for dead here seeing as that's the game no nope, I'll just put in left okay so here we have other presets that are available for left for dead now if you're using the EMB with sweet effects setup it uses the sweet effects 1.5 and down settings file so you would check here to make sure that it's one of the sweet effects 1.5 or lower now if it's a reshade then that actually is a different preset file type and it won't work with the EMB and sweet effects so seeing as this one only has the one alternate preset that's available we'll have a look at that and a lot of them will have images so that you can actually get a side-by-side -side split screen of what the alternate preset looks like and so you can go through those and this looks like quite a nice preset so if you wanted to download this one you just download the preset there and you just want to save it and then you actually want to go to your download folder so we'll open the containing folder and then go back to the preset that you have right now and just add an extra character to the end of the name to slightly change the name and then copy the name without that extra character there and paste that over the new preset file that you want to try out and just drag and drop that into the presets folder here now start your game and see that it's working properly and if you decide that you like that preset rather than the original preset then you can just continue using that if you decide that you want to go back to the original preset then just delete this preset here out of the folder and rename the original preset back to its original name and then the sweet effects will use that preset now one thing when you're using the EMB with Sweet Effects, if you do download a preset and for some reason it doesn't look like the picture that they're showing here, whereas instead of getting this nice look to the game here on the one side, the game actually is really dark and saturated looking, then what you would want to do is go into the preset and see if they're using SMAA and if they are then just set that on zero and then save the change and start again with your game and see if that corrects the darkness issue because with the EMB and Sweet Effects the SMAA can in some cases depending on your video card cause the actual preset to look really dark and saturated and that will normally correct it. Now I'm going to do the reshade with Sweet Effects next and I'll just pull up my Bioshock Infinite here so if you wanted to try a different preset with the reshade and Sweet Effects you would go to the Sweet Effects folder here and this is your settings file here now this uses the 2.0 settings files so I'm just gonna put in Bioshock here and we'll search and we're looking for Bioshock Infinite. Now in this case you can use any of the 2.0 and down so if they say Sweet Effects 2.0 or less 
then you'll be able to run those. Now as far as the reshade setups, the reshade by itself uses a different settings file type and a different setup. So that won't work with the reshade in Sweet Effects. So we'll just have a look here at a couple of the settings that they have. Um, we'll look at this 1.4. Okay, he doesn't seem to have any visuals there, so I'm going to check another one here, and we'll see. Okay, this one also doesn't have any pictures. Now, you can download them with pictures or without. You would just put it into the Sweet Effects folder, replacing your existing one, and then you can have a look although I'm kind of looking for one here that has pictures and this one has a slider so you can actually look at the vanilla game and then move the slider across and this is how it should look once you're in game so we'll download this one so you would download the preset and then we'll go to the downloads folder now with this one, you want to name it Sweet Effects Settings Text, the same as this one here. So you're going to actually change the name on this one slightly, just add a character to the end of the name. And then once again, copy that name and paste that name over top of it here. And just drag and drop that into the Sweet Effects folder with the reshading sweet effects. Now start your game and see if you like that new preset. If so then just continue using it. If you decide that you want to go back to the original preset then just go back to the sweet effects folder and delete that preset out and rename your existing preset back to its original name and that will restore the original preset. Now as you can see this game actually had quite a few presets so there's quite a few choices if you did want to change it but as I said you want to use the Sweet Effects 2.0 or down when you're using the reshade in Sweet Effects if you're using the EMB with Sweet Effects then you'd use the 1.5 or down in order to try out those different presets but again the reshade ones here will not work with the EMB and Sweet Effects or the reshade and Sweet Effects those are just for the reshade by itself alright now I will leave a link to the actual Sweet Effects database here for downloading and getting other presets if you do want to try other presets with your EMB and Sweet Effects or your reshade and Sweet Effects and if there are any questions please let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks a lot for watching. Take care, and I'll talk to you again.